Hi friends, so after zipping the file you would definitely like to send the zipped file to your clients or, or someone over an email. So see we have a scenario where this zipped file needs to be sent uh, to a client or, or to someone in the organization over an email. So we what we are going to learn in this uh, session is about uh, sending an attachment uh, through an email so uh, from an SSIS. Uh, package so we have by default we have a send mail task which uh, uh, SQL Server provides not to say uh, but this uh, send mail task is, is, is kind of a worthless uh, and there are a couple of reasons uh, why I say so if we pull out a send mail task here uh, what we see is we have to define an uh, we have to define SMTP connection so that's that's the first point so so if you are within your organization the SMTP connection would, would be that of your uh, organization the next uh, thing that you would have to say is is the from uh, and and the two uh, and the messages uh, that you would want the subject and you would you would type out the message that you want here directly and then you would want to also uh, set the attachments that an attachment of the file that you would want uh, the next important thing is the uh, uh, the reason why I say that this send mail task is useless uh, is because of two reasons. The first important reason is this send mail task allows you to set set on as uh, send only text enabled enabled files. So if you want to send an email which is HTML format, it is not possible from this send mail task. So that's point one. The second important thing is the authentication. So when you set up this SMTP connection, the authentication is that of or of your organization's credentials or, or, or your credentials so it is default or authenticated by the credential that you have logged in so currently if you send uh, create or configure a send mail task it is going to use your authentications and based upon that send the email so if you have the rights now if you want to deploy this send mail task or, or, or the complete package into production it is it is going to use the authentication of the service under which of the account under which the service runs so basically if you are trying to run the SSIS package from a service account that service account needs to have a valid authentication on the SMTP so so based upon that you would be able to now in any other scenarios where you wherein you want to uh, create uh, or send an email in HTML format or you want to have an authentication at, at the runtime you wouldn't be able to use the send mail task so this uh, uh, this is the reason why your send mail task is actually kind of useless so we I'm not going to use the send mail task in this demonstration because it's pretty straightforward if you would like to use you can go ahead and use this send mail task so I have actually script use the script task to send email because currently I am not under any organization uh, this, uh, this is a laptop which is configured in open source so basically I would be connecting uh, to my Gmail and my live accounts so which is the hotmail account so I would try to send uh, the email from my hotmail account to my gmail with the intimation with the attached file and the intimation of the job so that's about it so if you see what i have done is this script task is going to send an email from so this is the code so basically i am trying to uh, send this email from the sender uh, that is my hotmail account to the recipient that's my gmail account and i'm going to use a free source smtp so so if this is the smtp for for uh, the microsoft uh, uh, live account so 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 this is the smtp uh, which is free so you are, alternatively you can also use the gmail's uh, smtp server so the message that the body will say uh, is something like this this is again configurable since you can take uh, as as a variable uh, and 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 uh, configure it dynamically at the runtime so you can do so uh, the next thing is the attachment so basically I am going to uh, attach the zip file which will be generated here with test2.zip so that file is still not generated that will be generated at the runtime the next thing is I uh, the message uh, the body of or the subject of of the mail would be attached or XML data so that's uh, about it and I'm going to use the SMTP port 25 which is the port for your SMTP live or, or hotmail account that's about it the next what we have here is is a simple piece of code which is uh, which will enable you to write and this is my mind you this is my password not to say I'm going to change this part password immediately after this video goes live 
so <laughs> this is my current password so that's about it for sending this e email with the attachment and with the text and, and, and the body so this this is uh, the script task demonstration so basically now let's try to run this uh, container and see how it goes right so what we see here is uh, text 2 dot zip is generated as uh, as is, uh, it is similar to my last blog it is generated with uh, your test 2 dot xml file and now the important part was to send an email so if you see uh, I have a new email on my gmail account which says attached or xml data so if we open this uh, we have uh, a message and the you know subject line and then what I have is the attachment which is test2.zip and if I see in my send mails I will have a sent item which is which is similar so that's about it and uh, that's about from testing uh, I mean sending an email perspective friends uh, I hope this will add some value in terms of understanding how to send an email from SSIS package thank you so much